Hello guys, my name is Cedrickson, and in today's video you are going to learn how to play Risk of Rain 2 Local Co-op with Split Screen. So, in order to do this, you are going to want to download Thunderstorm Mod Manager. This is basically a uh, mod manager that supports many games, one of them being Risk of Rain 2. It's no frills, and by that, I mean, you don't really have to sign up for anything, or you don't even really have to worry about any of that nonsense. Anyway... It's very quick and easy to set up. So make sure to accept the terms and the privacy policy and you'll be on your way. Should take no more than a couple minutes to install. And uh, after the, all of that is said and done, make sure you launch it and search for the game Risk of Rain 2. So go ahead and select Risk of Rain 2. And then select the respective platform you play the game on. In my case, I play it on Steam. So now that you're here in the profile selection, it's time to create a new profile. I'm going to name it Split Screen, but you can name it whatever you'd like. Now you want to hit Select Profile, and then go to the sidebar where it says Get Mods, and search for X Split Screen. Click on it, download it, and now download with dependencies. The mod and all of its dependencies should download pretty quickly. Didn't take me more than a minute. So, I'm also going to download another mod. It's called Teammate Revival. This is totally optional. You don't have to download this mod if you don't want to, but I do think it is a great mod to have, especially if your partner is brand new to the game. In Vanilla Risk of Rain 2, when your partner dies, they are dead for the remainder of the level. They do not get to respawn until the player who is alive fully charges the teleporter and progresses to the next level. This mod, as the name suggests, allows you to revive a downed teammate at the cost of your own health. I think it's pretty neat, and it's pretty fair, too. So, with all of that said and done, uh, we've got all of our mods installed. You know, let's just make sure it's all there. And with that, let's launch Risk of Rain 2 modded. And shortly after launching modded Risk of Rain 2, you are going to get this console for developers. You can just X out of it like I just did. So now that you are in the main menu, go up to the top right and where the profiles are and create a new profile. Uh, create one for your partner. Um, you know, for instance, I'm going to name mine player two. I'm going to switch back to my profile because I have more unlockables in there. And then go to the new split screen option in the menu. So this is where you configure your split screen setup. I'm going to start by plugging in both of my controllers. And instead of using keyboard and mouse to play, I'm going to use the first controller I plugged in. So now I'm going to split the screen vertically. That way, Player 1 is on the left side of the screen, and Player 2 is on the right side of the screen. So make sure you select the profile and to drag whatever peripherals you want Player 2 to use. And if you're happy with your setup, hit Enable, this tick box right here. And now you can go back and go to Single Player. So, upon loading into the lobby, you will see both you and your partner. Using the right thumbsticks on the controllers, you can select whatever survivor you want. Make sure you both select your survivors of choice before readying up, because I notice when you click ready, it readies everybody up at once. So, I'm going to select the difficulty I want to play on, and then ready up. And, as you can see, both player 1 and player 2 have crash landed together. It's that easy, guys. This is how you play local co-op on Risk of Rain 2 for PC. This mod supports up to four players at once. <laughs> That's pretty gnarly. Props to the author Doodad who developed this mod. Also, props to Cosmosis Dyer, the author of the Teammate Revival mod. My guy on the right, Player 1, he just died. And Player 2 comes in for the rescue. Woo! Certainly comes at a price, but at least you're guaranteed life regen when you've successfully revived your partner. Well, this would be the end of the video, but I've got two displays. Why don't I give Player 1 and Player 2 their own full HD screens instead of cutting a single screen down the middle? Let's do just that. So I have an AMD graphics card, and using their software iFinity Pro, which is found in AMD's program files, as you can see here, I can combine two screens into one virtual ultra wide screen display that spans across my TV and my monitor. Those are the two displays that I have. So let's try this out. So now that I am back in the game with this ridiculously long resolution, 
I have to adjust the video settings to match this brand new resolution, which is 3840 pixels by 1080 pixels. So make those changes and accept them and go back into the game. And as you can see, both player one and player two have their very own full screens to play off of. Yep, that's right. No more pressing ears with your partner trying to play off of a single screen. This method of playing local multiplayer games with split screen is an absolute game changer. And so long as you have a viable graphics card and two displays connected, you have the ability to do this. Those of you with NVIDIA graphics cards, you can use a software called NVIDIA Surround, which is basically the equivalent of AMD's iFinity to achieve this too. I've done it before. However, I don't have the NVIDIA hardware to show you how to do it. If I did, I would, but for now, just Google how to use NVIDIA Surround. It's easy. As a matter of fact, I'll drop a link in the description to an official how-to webpage by NVIDIA to help you set it up yourself. Well, that's all I've got for today, guys. If you found the video helpful, leave a like and consider subscribing. If you've got any questions or concerns, drop a comment below and I'll do my best to get back to you. Until next time, my friends, take it easy.